Hey everybody, Pumpkin here. So I just recently uploaded a video uh, yesterday and it was on, well this deck in particular, uh, the trap mid-range deck, uh, Consistent and the uh, Greedy variant. So I had originally had uh, two for each of them, but I decided that would be too long. It would have gone over an hour. So I decided to cut it into two videos. So this is part two of the uh, Greedy and Consistent trap deck. So we'll have one of uh, the greedy list and one of the consistent decks. So just thought I'd throw this intro in and I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. We've hammered enough. Let's get to work. All right, chat, what's your favorite leader so far that you guys have played? Out of all of the leaders, which one's your favorite? It doesn't, it does, not necessarily the best, just which leader ability is your favorite? Dagon? Nice, me too, I love Dagon. I'm in no mood to talk. Kahir? Crack, Eldane? Francesca, Meave, Ada. Arnold and Bran, Eldane. Fred Chan? Franny's okay. This is Elven Land, Dwan, upon which your kind dies. Do you guys think that this should indicate whether or not I can steal a unit? So like, if I play a four strength unit, you should steal it, steal it, steal it. Go, go, go. See if we can get him to commit into this. Try to kill it. No, I know it does. I know I'm aware that is the technology is there. I'm saying should it, that's my question. Should it do that? I don't think it should. I think it should always be red. Or always be green. Um, but that always be green would be a little weird. But I think it should just always... Okay, how about this? Once the unit hits the board, it just stays that color. So, like, if there are no units on the board, it stays red. But the instant a uh, enemy unit hits the board, it just stays green. The same for Woodland? I mean, I guess, yeah. No message. Hmm, I, I don't know about Woodland. Woodland's a little dicey. Do we just risk it and rip it? Just hope it doesn't hit pit. I must think of my folk. Okay. Good job, pumpkin. I mean, it's not even that bad. Like, what it, he has to play 17 points in two cards, er, in one card, yeah. Like, I actually, so, okay, I, I'll be completely honest, I was secretly hoping that it would hit the Pitfall, because Pitfall's garbage in this matchup, right? They don't play big units at the end of the game. Um, and if it hits it, it secures the round, because he can't catch up in tempo. So, a little, a little part of me was actually secretly happy that that happened. Oh, yeah, yeah. Peace with humans. I because that. the reality is, more often, Crushing Trap gets more value than Pitfall. Except against, like, monsters. I, I Wait a minute. 
I, I guess it depends. Uh, so like against SK, Pitfall's better. <laughs> against monsters, a stupid monster player, Pitfall's better. Against every other deck, crushing is better. So in the matches where Pitfall is bad, or crushing is better, I guess is a better way to say of saying it. I should be playing Pitfall in round one and take rounds. Why are you running Pitfall then? Because it's cute. I don't know. It has a butterfly. Gimme. What do you think about all leaders so far? What should they buff or rework? I want them to redo Phila. Phila is kind of a joke. Or, 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 hear me out. Give it more cards that synergize with Phila. Because right now the cards that synergize with Phila are just bad. But I actually, I, I'd rather not even more synergistic cards. I just want to rework. He's such a boring leader. So I'd rather just a rework completely with a different ability, personally. What if Phila was plus two? If it was plus two, there would be Reddit threads everywhere. What if you buffed four random cards in your hand and refreshed each round? Yeah, so one of the biggest issues is like the cards, whatever cards that need those buffs, if you don't draw those cards in round one, they're dead later. So like War Dancer is an example, uh, Marauder is an example. Literally every card that needs that boost, if you draw it later on, it's a brick. You have to mulligan it. Yeah, it's just, yeah, they, they, it needs to like boost the entire deck or something, but that's too good. So make it like 10 P give, give Phila 10 P and boost the entire deck, like old full test. Then it'll see play, but I highly doubt they're going to do that. That would be super busted. Yeah, exactly. The, the problem is he's either going to suck or be busted. There's really no in between. I mean, Philo would not be a bad leader if Squirtel had a generic all-around good card pool. Yeah, sure. And, and that, that's the issue with, Squ or with Squirtel. It's not necessarily that the leaders are bad. It's just the cards that you put in the decks are just dreadful. Right? Like, all elf Squirtel is pretty good. It lacks a finisher because they obliterated Shiru. Literally. Um... But yeah, that's really the only fleshed out archetype in Skoya right now. Alright, what are we doing here? So we have three Crushings. So we have to play two, four, and five. So five, four, and two. So five, four, and two. These two, this, Geralt, and one other card. We can just do this. Yes, one. Okay. Dwarfs need a buff? Yeah, so they nerfed him, which is funny. What if you had a fixed amount of boost that you could use on a targeted card? Yeah, sure, that could be okay. It's like a woodland, except you get to choose the cards. Yeah, so Phil Evandrel was boost a unit by one. Ten charges. That would be much, 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 much better. Like, much better. 
Maybe even like broken better. <laughs> That's literally woodland? Yeah, but it's woodland with synergy. But yes, it would literally be woodland. Remember when they said Shiro was getting a small tweak? Yeah, I mean, that's why when they said the, the small tweak thing, I was like, rest in peace. <laughs> the odds of it being a small tweak are pretty low. Small tweak, when, when, when CDPR says small tweak and they're referring to Squayatel, it means utter annihilation unplayable. That's generally what small tweak means. Which kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. Fine! If my coins rag to ye, go kiss a dog neath its tail. This is potentially bad because my Geralt might not get value, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's not the case with Squayatel every time. I mean, look at Ithlin. Look at, uh, granted, Ithlin needed to get nerfed. Look at um, Meditation. That card was good. It needed like a one point nerf and the card got obliterated. It went from really good finisher to unplayable overnight. Read what I said. Oh, just the case with Squayatal. Um, could, I'm gonna blank. Could you list some examples? Oh, 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 yeah, okay. When they, when they small tweak a card, they kill it. Yeah, okay. All right, where are you gonna play this? This is very important. His positioning is key. Sometimes I've had about enough. I don't know. I don't know how to do this correctly. I don't know the most amount of points. Ah! They're all gonna die? No, they're not all gonna die. I'm a little worried about this card. I mean, we're 600, this is getting a good amount of value, but is it enough value to win? It's gonna come down to what he has. Oh, we forgot, shit, we forgot. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot to play around Treason. We need to be playing around Treason. Hopefully he doesn't play Treason this turn. I mean, would you Treason for three? <laughs> Maybe. Zero point treason clapperino. Nothing will stop. Oh shit. Okay. I was gonna be pretty excited if it's if it was treason. Last words. 
Do you know what happened to Joe Snow? I don't. Um, I know he was kind of invested in Gwen, uh, and then he was excited for MTGA. He really, because he he was a he was a big big Magic the Gathering player. Um, so I don't know. I haven't spoken to him in a while. I should probably catch up, see what he's been doing. How cold is it outside? I want to go outside today. Weather. 31. Feels like 21. Eh, it's not bad. It was like 4 this morning. <laughs> Terrible. Outside, who cares? Well, I need to go outside. I haven't gone outside in like 3 days because it's so cold. You've got the heart of an uncrate. Like I need, I need to get some fresh air. I need some air to like hit my lungs. Hopefully, I don't die on impact. Mm. This hand is super golden. Like we drew every gold. We we ah, oh my, we actually drew every gold card. Oh boy, that's really really bad. We drew every single gold card. These don't count, and this is stuff. Jeez, we found every single gold card. Did we remove Sapper? It looks like we did. Wow, we drew every gold card. That's not good. I would have mulliganed another gold, but I can't. Cheater, you don't want to draw gold cards. Like, you want to draw a few. I would much rather a hand with, like, these cards in it. Like, you want to draw a few gold cards, and you want to draw the rest later, because you want to dump your bronzes. Because basically what's going to happen now is I can go like three or four cards deep into this round and then I have to get out. Because we, we just, I can't afford to dump my win con in round one. We'll win the round, but we'll lose the game. This is a uh, interesting line of play, I guess. Tell me more, Pomkey. <laughs> we need a rage pumpkin. I don't rage very often, though. Oh, uh, thought it was um. Incinerating. Only death here for Dwan. You also never get tilted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You guys, you guys understand me so well. Never tilted. Oh no, dude. I even baited it as if it was a serpent. Ay, oh, yeah, yeah. That's so bad. You shall taste of your own medicine. That's unfortunate. A bit of respect. You're not talking to girls. I don't like ties. Ties suck. A retreat in time is a victory? Um, I don't think I agree with that. You could say it's better to cut your losses and get out. Sure. I, I don't know if I'd constitute it as a victory. Like, you, you could potentially be preventing future damages, but not necessarily a victory. Hmm. 
What is that? Oh, okay. I know what that is. <laughs> Let us sing the song of steel. May your sword and arm be one. Yeah, we don't know. Is this Mr. Sweet Piggy or Mrs. Wheat Piggy? Okay, this prince just keeps on coming. It's the prince that keeps on giving. Jeez, you just shoot every single round, three rounds. Hey, yeah, yeah. All right, I need crushing. Give me a crushing. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. We have everything, right? Oh, I guess we could look for this, but it's too risky because if I top deck this, I'm screwed on Alva, so it's not worth it. Not worth it. Nope, nope, nope. I mean, there's no way he, she, piggy plays two artifact removal. Kiappa! So I want the four random pings life. to go into this, not into this. <laughs> Mr. Dude, come on! Hey, hey, hey. Piss off. Watch him run like Scorch too. Jeez, he's gonna run Scorch. I know, he's gonna run Scorch. There's like a hundred percent chance he runs Scorch. He just really dislikes Gurney, but Gurney doesn't play artifacts. I haven't queued into a single artifact Gurney deck other than day one, like an hour in. Don't and I slaughtered that story. deck. What do you discard? It could be shoot. No, it can't. It can't be shoot. Impossible. Yes, one. He must hate artifacts? Yeah, he must. I guess he's queuing into a lot of, uh... That's not very good. I mean, we had this for Scorch, but my opponent plays two artifact removal, so I am sad in this. Ooh, nice. Dink, 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 dink. Okay. Yep. The gods won't be pleased. I was doing the math. Sranridge is your scorch cover. No, I mean if if he. Uh, if he actually had Scorch, he would he would Scorch and then just Frannied. Yeah, no, he he doesn't have Scorch. The the Sfran Ridge confirms no Scorch. You're running out of shit to ping, Mister Monka, Monka, Monka. I love it. Oh, I love it. Not your lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Piece of limbers. Yeah, this deck is really good against SK, because SK, well, okay, that variant of SK doesn't play any points. 
Right, and like I control Mira with this deck, this deck will always win because it has an immune dragon. 